Let's ignite the world with the spark of our attitudes, because believe me when I say, your attitude isn't just a part of your journey to success. It is the very path you walk on. It is the fuel that propels you forward. It's everything. Have you ever found yourself standing on the brink of your dreams, peering into the vast expanse of your desires, yet feeling like there's an invisible barrier holding you back? That barrier, my friends, isn't built by the world around you. It's constructed from the bricks of doubt, fear, and hesitation within you. But what if I told you that you hold the power to demolish this barrier? Yes, you do, through the sheer force of your attitude. Your attitude is everything. Fake it till you make it. Now hold on, before you jump to conclusions about the word, fake, let's unravel the true essence of this powerful strategy. It's not about deception, it's about setting the stage for your success. It's about embodying the spirit of your dreams even before they materialize. It's about dressing for the role you aspire to, not the role you currently play. Let me share a story that encapsulates this essence perfectly. Imagine a young individual, much like any of us here, armed with dreams so big they scare him. Yet there's a fire within him, a fire to make something of himself. But here's the catch. His current reality doesn't align with the future he envisions. What does he do? He makes a pivotal choice. He decides to walk, talk, and act like the success story he aims to be. And guess what? The universe starts aligning with his newfound demeanor. Opportunities don't just knock, they start banging on his door. Why? Because he chose to fake it, to live and breathe the success he sought until the act became his reality. Now, you might wonder how this is relevant to you. Let's face it. Each one of us has been at crossroads, faced with the choice of retreating into the comfort of our doubts or marching ahead with confidence. How often do we let the fear of failure dictate our actions? More often than we'd like to admit, right? But here's a thought. What if we chose to see beyond our doubts? What if we decided to act with the confidence of the victor, even when victory seems like a distant dream? Faking it till you make it isn't about pretense. It's about faith. Faith in yourself. Faith in your potential. Faith in the journey towards your dreams. It's about adopting a winner's attitude even when the scoreboard suggests otherwise. Because in the grand scheme of things, success is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. It's about preparing yourself mentally and emotionally for the success that's yet to come. Throughout history, the greatest achievers weren't those who never faced doubts or fears. They were those who refused to be defined by them. They understood a fundamental truth. Success starts with what's inside you, with the attitude you bring to the table every single day. So as we gear up for the journey ahead, ask yourself, what's holding me back? More importantly, ask, what would I do if failure wasn't an option? Let's embark on this exploration together, delving into how a shift in attitude can turn the impossible into the inevitable. Remember, it all starts with you. Your attitude isn't just a small piece of the puzzle, it is the puzzle. Your attitude is everything. Let's dive into the heart of the matter, the very engine that drives the train of success, your attitude. When we talk about attitude, we're not just referring to a fleeting emotion or a temporary stance. No, we're talking about the very bedrock of your personal and professional existence, your attitude. Believe it or not, it is the compass that directs the course of your life. It's the inner voice that says, yes, I can, even when the entire world whispers, no, you can't. Now, let's unravel the magic behind the mantra, fake it till you make it. This isn't about donning a mask or playing a part that feels alien to your true self. It's about embracing the power of positive pretense, a psychological lifeline that pulls you from the depths of doubt into the realms of possibility and success. It's about believing in the part of you that's capable of achieving greatness, even if that part hasn't had its moment in the sun just yet. Acting as if you have already achieved your goal sets a powerful psychological precedent. It programs your mind to navigate the world as a victor, not a victim, paving the way for genuine success. Consider the luminaries of our time, individuals who didn't just climb the mountain of success but reshaped its very contours with their perseverance and attitude. Take the example of a young woman armed with nothing but a dream to make her mark in the literary world. Faced with rejections that could easily dampen the brightest of spirits, he chose to wear the cloak of a successful author long before her first manuscript was accepted. Every morning, she sat at her desk, weaving stories undeterred by the pile of rejection slips. In her mind, she was already a best-selling author. Today, her books have not only top charts but have also inspired a generation to dream. 
Her secret? She believed in her success and faked her way into making it a reality. Consider the inventor who was told time and again that his ideas were fanciful, unrealistic. Did he bow down to the naysayers? No, he walked, talked, and worked like the genius inventor he knew himself to be. His unwavering belief in his vision, his attitude, eventually led to inventions that changed the course of human history. His reality started in his mind, shaped by the steadfast attitude that he was already where he aimed to be. What these stories tell us is profound yet simple. The attitude you adopt shapes the life you lead. Fake it till you make it is not about deception. It's about setting the stage for your own success story. It's about living today with the conviction and confidence of your future self. It's about aligning your mental state with your aspirations, thereby making your goals an inevitable reality. So why is it that some individuals seem to effortlessly ascend the ladder of success while others remain tethered to the ground? The answer lies not in their circumstances, luck, or even talent, but in their attitude. It's their relentless drive, their unwavering belief in themselves, and their ability to fake their confidence until it becomes their second nature. Now, think about your own life. Where could a shift in attitude take you? Imagine for a moment that you are already the person you aspire to be, successful, confident, fulfilled. How would you approach your day? How would you tackle challenges? Embracing this mindset, this attitude, can be the catalyst for profound change in your life. Building a positive attitude isn't just a good idea. It's a blueprint for success, a formula that can transform your life from the inside out. So how do we construct this foundation of positivity? Let's dive in with practical, actionable steps that can elevate your mindset and set you on a path of unstoppable success. First, understand this. Your thoughts shape your reality. It's like planting a garden in your mind. If you plant seeds of positivity, you'll harvest success, happiness, and fulfillment. But where do you start? Start with your self-talk. The conversations you have with yourself every single day. Are they filled with hope and optimism or doubt and negativity? Begin to consciously shift this internal dialogue. Instead of saying, I can't, start saying, I can. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong, focus on what went right. It might seem small, but this shift can ignite a profound transformation in your life. Now, let's talk about visualization, a powerful tool in building a positive attitude. Imagine yourself achieving your goals, living your dream life. Be it, feel it, believe in it. This isn't daydreaming, it's a strategic exercise in mental preparation. Athletes do it all the time. Before they even step onto the field, they visualize their success. They see the win, feel the triumph, and then they make it happen. You can do the same. Before you start your day, take a moment to visualize your success. What does a successful day look like for you? Hold on to that vision and carry it with you throughout the day. But visualization and positive self-talk are just part of the equation. What about the information you consume on a daily basis? This brings us to the concept of a mental diet. Just like your body thrives on nutritious food, your mind thrives on positive, uplifting content. Be selective about what you feed your mind. Choose books, podcasts, and videos that inspire and motivate you. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, not those who pull you down. Your mental diet can shape your attitude, your beliefs, and ultimately, your success. So here are some thought-provoking questions for you. What does your current mental diet look like? Are you nourishing your mind with positivity or are you letting in negativity without even realizing it? It's time to take control, to be deliberate about the content you consume and the thoughts you entertain. Building a positive attitude is not a one-time task, it's a continuous journey. It requires effort, persistence, and a commitment to growth. But the rewards are immeasurable. A positive attitude can open doors, create opportunities, and attract success. It can transform challenges into stepping stones and dreams into realities. As we move forward, remember, you have the power to shape your attitude, to choose positivity, and to create the life you've always wanted. Start today by shifting your self-talk, practicing visualization, and being mindful of your mental diet. These steps aren't just pathways to a positive attitude. They're the building blocks of a successful, fulfilling life. Remember, your attitude is the paintbrush of your existence. What masterpiece will you create with it? I'm here today to talk about something that affects us all at various points in our journey. The challenge of overcoming negative influences. You know, the world around us can often feel like a minefield of negativity. 
from the fear that holds us back, to the doubt that creeps in during moments of uncertainty, to the criticism that can sometimes feel like a relentless storm. But here's the thing. These negative influences aren't just obstacles, they're opportunities. Opportunities to grow, to strengthen our resolve, and to reaffirm our path toward success. So how do we navigate through this? How do we shield ourselves and maintain a mindset focused on growth and positivity? Let's start with fear. Fear is like a shadow, always lurking, ready to engulf us if we let it. But remember, a shadow only exists because there is light. Turn towards the light, your goals, your dreams, your potential. When fear whispers doubts in your ear, counter it with action. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory over fear. Now, doubt, it's a tricky one. It questions our abilities, our worthiness, and our decisions. But here's a strategy. Treat doubt as a signal, not a stop sign. It's signaling you to seek more information, to prepare better, and to strengthen your resolve. Let doubt drive you to become more, not less. Embrace it as part of the growth process. And then there's criticism. Nobody is immune to it. But remember, not all criticism is created equal. Learn to differentiate between constructive feedback, which can be a valuable tool for growth, and destructive criticism, which serves no purpose other than to discourage. Welcome the former, and as for the latter, let it roll off you like water off a duck's back. But how do you practically shield yourself from these negative influences? First, curate your environment. Surround yourself with positivity. People who uplift you, content that inspires you, and activities that rejuvenate you. Your environment has a profound impact on your mindset. Second, practice gratitude. It's impossible to feel negative when you're genuinely thankful. Start and end your day by listing things you're grateful for. And third, commit to lifelong learning. The more you grow, the less space there is for negativity. Every new skill you learn, every piece of knowledge you acquire, builds your confidence and reduces the power of negative influences. Let me share a story that encapsulates the power of overcoming negativity. There was once a young artist faced with rejection after rejection. His work was criticized, his style was questioned, and his future in the art world looked bleak. But instead of succumbing to doubt and fear, he used the criticism as fuel. He dedicated himself to mastering his craft, to learning, growing, and evolving. Today, his art is celebrated worldwide. His journey wasn't just about overcoming negativity. It was about using it as a catalyst for personal and professional growth. So as you face fear, doubt, and criticism, remember, these aren't roadblocks, they're stepping stones. Use them to elevate yourself. Turn fear into action, doubt into growth, and criticism into strength. You have within you the power to rise above negativity and to carve out a path of success that is uniquely yours. Remember, it's not the challenges that define us, but how we respond to them. Keep moving forward, keep growing, and let your attitude be your shield against negativity. Let's dive into a powerful concept, one that can truly revolutionize the way you approach every aspect of your lives. Fake it till you make it. Now, I know at first glance, this might sound a bit superficial, but let's peel back the layers and really understand how this principle can be applied authentically across different areas of your life. From your career to your personal relationships, and especially in your journey of personal growth. In your career, fake it till you make it, is not about misrepresenting your skills or experience. It's about embodying the confidence and attitude of the role you aspire to. Think about it. How would someone in your dream position carry themselves? How would they tackle challenges or interact with colleagues? Start adopting those behaviors now. It's about stepping into a larger version of yourself even before you've reached that milestone. This approach acts as a magnet, drawing opportunities your way because you're already resonating with the energy of that role. In relationships, this principle can transform your interactions and connections. It's about embodying the qualities of the person you want to be in your relationships. Are you looking to be more understanding, compassionate, or supportive? Begin by faking these qualities, not insincerely, but as a practice. The remarkable thing is, the more you practice, the more these qualities genuinely become a part of who you are. It's about stretching beyond your current self to embrace and embody the qualities you admire. Personal growth is perhaps where, fake it till you make it, finds its most fertile ground. Here, it's about visualizing the person you aim to become. Someone who embodies resilience, adaptability, and unwavering positivity, even if you're not there yet. Start acting as if you are. 
Facing a challenge, ask yourself, how would the future, more evolved version of me handle this? This doesn't mean ignoring your emotions or pretending problems don't exist. Instead, it's about adopting a growth mindset even when you're tempted to fall back into old patterns. But here's the crucial part, balance. There's a fine line between authentic self-improvement and mere pretense. The key is consistency. It's not about putting on a one-time performance but consistently practicing these attitudes and behaviors until they become second nature. Resilience plays a huge role here. You're bound to face setbacks, but it's your resilience that will dictate whether you fake it only temporarily or truly grow into the version of yourself you aspire to be. Adaptability is your secret weapon. As you fake it, you'll encounter situations that challenge your preconceived notions of who you are or who you should be. Embrace these moments, they are opportunities to adapt and refine your approach, ensuring that your growth is not just a facade but a deep transformative process. Let me share a story that perfectly illustrates this principle in action. There was a young entrepreneur who dreamed of leading a successful startup. Initially, he lacked confidence, often second-guessing his decisions and struggling to lead. He decided to fake the confidence of a successful CEO. He adopted a posture of certainty in meetings, spoke with conviction, and made decisions with the assurance that would lead to the best outcome. Over time, something incredible happened. He didn't just appear more confident, he became more confident. His team responded positively, his decisions led to successes, and his startup thrived. He had faked his way into becoming the leader he always wanted to be. So, as we explore this journey together, remember, Fake it till you make it is not about deception. It's a strategy for growth, a method for gradually transforming into the best version of yourself. It's about acting with the courage, confidence, and conviction of the person you aspire to be until you no longer have to act because you've made it. And that, my friends, is the power of a positive, growth-oriented attitude in action. As we stand here today on the brink of forging ahead into our futures, let's take a moment to understand the essence of cultivating lasting change. It's about more than just fleeting moments of inspiration or temporary boosts of motivation. True transformation begins with the habits we form, the small daily actions that over time solidify into the bedrock of a positive and resilient attitude. So, for a moment, the power of habits. These are the threads that weave the fabric of our lives. Habits can either build us up, leading us toward fulfillment and success, or they can pull us down into the depths of frustration and failure. The beauty of it is that we have the power to choose which habits we cultivate. And it starts with cementing a positive attitude through deliberate, consistent practice. The journey from faking it to making genuine, lasting changes is akin to a metamorphosis. It begins with the seed of an idea, perhaps even a facade, an act of pretending to be who we want to become. But here's where the magic happens. As we practice this new role, as we embody the attitudes and behaviors of our ideal selves, these actions start to become second nature. The act of faking it gradually fades away, leaving in its place the genuine article. We become the person we aspire to be, not through wishful thinking, but through deliberate action and persistent effort. But how do we start this process? How do we kickstart the engine of change and set ourselves on a path toward a brighter, more positive future? It's simpler than you might think. It all starts with one small action step, just one. Today, I encourage each and every one of you to commit to a single small action that will steer you toward a better attitude. Maybe it's starting your day with a positive affirmation, expressing gratitude for three things every morning, or dedicating 15 minutes to a hobby or activity that brings you joy. Perhaps it's reaching out to a friend or family member with a word of encouragement, or setting aside time each day to reflect on your goals and the progress you're making toward them. Whatever it is, make it something tangible, achievable, and aligned with the person you're striving to become. This small step is your foundation, the first brick in the road toward lasting change. And as you build on this foundation day by day, you'll find that the gap between faking it and making it narrows. Before you know it, you'll look back and realize that you're no longer pretending. You've grown, you've evolved, you've transformed into your best self. Now, not because you wished it into existence, but because you worked for it, one small step at a time. So, as we move forward from this moment, let's carry with us the understanding that cultivating lasting change is within our grasp. It starts with our habits, with the small daily choices that over time add up to monumental transformation. 
Let's commit to that first small action step today and let it be the catalyst that propels us toward a future where our attitudes are not just positive, but powerfully aligned with our deepest values and highest aspirations. As we draw this moment together to a close, let's take a step back and embrace the journey we've embarked upon today. We've delved deep into the transformative power of attitude, explored practical steps to cultivate positivity, navigated through the challenges of overcoming negativity, and unwrapped the essence of fake it till you make it. Each of these segments woven together forms a tapestry of insights aimed at empowering you, propelling you toward a future brimming with potential and success. Remember, the journey towards transforming your life begins with a single yet profound realization. Your attitude is the lens through which you view the world, the architect of your reality. By choosing to adopt a positive outlook, to speak to yourself with kindness and conviction, and to visualize your success, you set the stage for incredible transformation. It's about taking those practical steps, day in and day out, feeding your mind with inspiration, and surrounding yourself with positivity. We've also confronted the specters of fear, doubt, and criticism head-on, acknowledging their presence but refusing to grant them power over our lives. Instead, we choose resilience, arming ourselves with the shield of a positive attitude, ready to face challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as stepping stones to greater heights. And through it all, the mantra of fake it till you make it serves as a beacon, guiding us towards authentic self-improvement. It's not about pretense. It's about embodying the qualities of the person you aspire to be until they become an integral part of you. This journey from imitation to genuine transformation is paved with consistency, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to personal growth. So, here we stand at the precipice of possibility, armed with the knowledge and tools to shape our destiny. The question now is not if change is possible, but when will you start? The answer, my friends, is now. Today, this very moment. Every small step counts, every positive thought, every act of kindness towards yourself and others. These are the building blocks of the future you wish to create. So, let this moment be your call to action. Embrace the power of a positive attitude. Commit to those small, actionable steps towards positivity. Shield yourself from negativity. And step into the role of the person you're destined to be. Remember, it's the accumulation of these small steps that leads. The monumental change. Before you know it, you'll look back and realize that you're no longer pretending. You've grown, you've evolved, you've transformed into your best self. Now, not because you wished it into existence, but because you worked for it, one small step at a time. So, as we embark on this journey, let's do so with courage, with hope, and with the unwavering belief that we are capable of shaping our lives into masterpieces of our own making. The journey ahead is filled with endless possibilities, and it all begins with a single step. So, take that step, embrace the journey, and remember, the best is yet to come. Imagine you're standing at the edge of a vast ocean. The water stretches out before you, endless, magnificent, and unfathomable. Now, think of this ocean as the ocean of time. Every drop represents a moment of your life. How do you choose to interact with this ocean? Do you dip your toes cautiously, or do you dive in, making every splash count? Time, my friends, is the ocean in which we swim. It's the most valuable asset we have, more precious than gold, diamonds, or any treasure you can imagine. Unlike wealth, which can be accumulated, or health, which can be improved, time only diminishes, second by second. Once a moment passes, it's gone forever, leaving only ripples in its wake. You see, the beauty and tragedy of time lie in its relentless march forward. It waits for no one. This realization can either be a source of anxiety or an incredible motivation. I want to invite you to see it as the latter. Every day is a new chapter in the book of your life. A fresh canvas on which you can paint with the vibrant colors of your passions, dreams, and actions. Consider for a moment that people who made history, who've left an indelible mark on this world, they didn't have more time than any of us. They had 24 hours in a day, just like you and me. What set them apart was their keen awareness of time's value and their determination to use every minute pursuing something greater than themselves. They understood that to live each day without purpose is like pouring precious water into the sand, watching it disappear with nothing to show for it. So, how do we ensure that we're not just passively watching the day slip through our fingers? It begins with intention, with the decision to not only dream but to act, to not just exist but to live and contribute. Each of us has the power to decide how we spend our time, to choose pursuits that add depth, 
joy, and meaning to our lives and the lives of those around us. Living each day with purpose doesn't mean you need to make grand gestures every moment. It means being present, making choices that align with your deepest values, and taking steps, however small, toward the goals that light a fire in your heart. It's about carving out moments for the people and passions that make your life rich and fulfilling. As we embark on this journey today, I encourage you to think about the legacy you want to leave, the imprint you wish to make on this vast ocean of time. Remember, the most extraordinary lives are built one day at a time, one purposeful action after another. Let's dive into this ocean together, making every moment count, not just for our sake but for the world that awaits the unique contributions only we can make. In the next part of our journey, let's explore what it truly means to define and live with purpose. How do we find it, and how can it transform the way we view and utilize our time? This understanding is crucial, for it shapes not only the trajectory of our lives but the impact we have on the world around us. As we continue on this path, let's delve into the essence of time itself. Time, as we've established, is our most precious commodity. But to truly grasp its value, we must understand its finite nature. Each second that ticks by is a second that we can never reclaim. This realization can be a powerful catalyst for change, urging us to live more intentionally to make each moment count. Consider the story of a young painter filled with dreams and aspirations yet constantly putting off his passion for, Sunday. Sunday I'll have more time, he'd tell himself. But one day, he encountered an elderly artist whose hands had grown too shaky to hold a brush, whose eyes too dimmed to see the colors as vividly as he once did. This elder shared with the young painter, I always thought I had an endless supply of tomorrows. Now, I'd give anything for just one more day of clear vision and steady hands. This conversation was a turning point for the young artist. He realized that his own reservoir of tomorrows wasn't infinite. From that day forward, he painted every day, rain or shine, busy or not. His dedication turned him into one of the most prolific artists of his generation. His work's a testament to the power of seizing the day. This story echoes a truth we often forget. We don't have an unlimited amount of time. Like the sand slipping through an hourglass. Each moment gone is a moment we can't get back. How, then, do we ensure that we're not merely spectators in the game of life but active participants, making every second count? The key lies in purposeful action. Take the example of a woman who dreamt of becoming a writer. She worked a demanding job, her days a blur of activity. Yet, she felt unfulfilled, her dream of writing novels collecting dust on the shelf of, someday. Then, she started waking up an hour earlier each day dedicating this stolen time to her writing. It was a small step, but it transformed her life. With each passing day, her dream inched closer to reality. Eventually, she published her first novel, then another, and another. By carving out time from her existing schedule, she moved from dreaming to doing, from hoping to achieving. Both these individuals understood that time, once gone, is gone forever. But more importantly, they recognized that with deliberate action, even the smallest pockets of time can be transformed into stepping stones toward their dreams. They remind us that it's not about having time, it's about making time for what truly matters. As we ponder the finite nature of time and its irreplaceable quality, let's commit to using our time wisely, not letting a single drop go to waste. In the chapters ahead, we'll explore how setting goals with purpose can guide us in this endeavor, ensuring that every action we take is a step toward a life of fulfillment and achievement. Remember, the journey to a life lived with purpose begins with understanding the value of the time we have. Let this knowledge inspire us to make the most of every moment, to live fully and purposefully, creating a legacy that outlives the ticking of the clock. In our exploration of time and its profound value, we uncover a beacon that guides us through the fog of daily routines and distractions. The concept of living with purpose. Purpose is the compass that directs our actions the lens through which we view our choices, and ultimately the measure by which we judge our days, not just as time passed, but as time led. Living with purpose means more than just going through the motions. It's about aligning your daily life with your deeper values and goals, waking up each morning with a clear sense of what you want to achieve and why it matters. This clarity doesn't always come easily. It often requires reflection, adjustment, and sometimes a leap of faith. But those who find it, who truly grasp their purpose, embark on a journey that transforms not just their own lives but also the lives of those around them. 
Consider the tale of a teacher whose passion for education extended beyond the conventional classroom. He saw potential in every child but noticed that not all had the support to realize it. Driven by a purpose to empower, she started a community center where children could learn, play, and grow after school. This center became a haven, a place where children from challenging backgrounds found hope, guidance, and the tools to dream bigger. The teacher's purpose wasn't just to educate, it was to uplift, to change lives one child at a time. Her impact was a testament to the power of a life lived with purpose, where every effort was a brick in the foundation of a better future for her community. Or take the story of an engineer who, despite a successful career, felt a disconnect between his work and his personal values. He sought not just to create but to make a difference. This quest for purpose led him to develop technologies for clean water access in underprivileged areas. His innovation didn't just solve a problem. He transformed communities, giving them the key to health, prosperity, and sustainability. His journey from a successful engineer to a champion for global water access highlights the evolution that finding and pursuing a purpose can spark in us, turning skills and achievements into instruments of change. These stories illuminate the essence of living with purpose. It's not about grand gestures or monumental achievements visible to the world. It's about the subtle shifts in how we approach our days, the choices we make, and the reasons behind them. It's about finding that thread that connects who we are with what we do, creating a tapestry of life that reflects our deepest selves. As we delve deeper into defining and embracing our purpose, remember, the journey to purpose is as unique as you are. There's no one-size-fits-all map. Instead, there's a path that you carve out, guided by your values, passions, and the impact you wish to have. In the next segment of our exploration, we'll discuss how setting goals with purpose can serve as stepping stones on this path, helping us navigate the journey with intention and ultimately leading us to a life rich in meaning and fulfillment. Let's carry forward this understanding, allowing it to shape not just our ambitions but our everyday actions, Getting together a life of purpose one day, one decision at a time. As we journey through life, understanding the value of our time and embracing our purpose, we arrive at a crucial crossroad, setting goals. Goals are the bridges between our aspirations and reality, the vehicles that carry us from where we are to where we wish to be. But not just any goals, meaningful goals, goals that resonate with our core, that align with the purpose we've nurtured within ourselves. This alignment is the heartbeat of a fulfilling life, transforming ordinary objectives into powerful catalysts for personal growth and achievement. Imagine setting a goal as planting a seed. This seed holds the potential to grow into a mighty tree, but only if it's planted in fertile soil, given enough sunlight, and watered regularly. Similarly, our goals must be planted within the fertile ground of our purpose, nurtured with intention, and tended to with persistence. To set effective goals, we must employ techniques that transform vague aspirations into tangible targets. One such technique is setting SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. A goal that adheres to these criteria is like a lighthouse, guiding a ship through the night, offering clarity, direction, and a measurable way to track progress. For instance, rather than saying, I want to write a book someday, a SMART goal would be, I will write a 60,000-word novel about overcoming adversity, finishing one chapter each month, completing the first draft in one year. Visualization is another powerful tool in our goal-setting arsenal. It involves painting a vivid picture in your mind of your goal is already achieved. Imagine the sense of accomplishment, the joy, the impact of your success. This technique not only inspires action but also prepares your mind to recognize and seize opportunities that align with your objectives. Now, let's talk about actionable steps and strategies. First, write down your goals. There's magic in the act of writing. It transforms ethereal thoughts into concrete intentions. Next, break down each goal into smaller, manageable tasks. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and it's these steps, these daily actions, that accumulate into monumental achievements. Establish routines and habits that support your goals. If your goal is to run a marathon, make running a regular part of your routine. If your goal is to become a better speaker, practice speaking every day, even if it's just in front of a mirror. Remember, consistency is key. Hold yourself accountable, but also be kind to yourself. Celebrate at every milestone, no matter how small, and learn from every setback. 
Accountability partners or groups can also provide motivation and support, offering encouragement and perspective. When you need it most, in essence, setting goals with purpose is not just about achieving what you set out to do. It's about the transformation that occurs within you as you strive towards your goals. It's about living intentionally, making the most of the time we're given, and leaving a mark on the world that reflects our deepest values and aspirations. As we move forward, let us carry with us the understanding that while setting goals is a crucial step, overcoming obstacles is part and parcel of our journey. Our next discussion will delve into how we navigate the inevitable challenges and setbacks on the path to realizing our dreams. Armed with resilience, determination, and a clear sense of purpose, in our quest to achieve our goals and live with purpose, we inevitably encounter obstacles that test our resolve, challenge our capabilities, and sometimes make us question our path. These obstacles, whether they come in the form of doubts, failures, or external circumstances, are not just barriers to our success. They're opportunities for growth, learning, and resilience. Let me share with you a story of a young entrepreneur whose dream was to innovate in the realm of technology. His journey was fraught with challenges. Right from the outset, he faced skepticism from potential investors, setbacks in product development, and the daunting task of entering a highly competitive market. Each obstacle seemed to push his dream further out of reach. Yet, it was his response to these challenges that defined his journey. Instead of succumbing to doubt or giving up in the face of failure, he viewed each setback as a learning opportunity. He refined his pitch, improved his product, and deepened his understanding of the market. His persistence paid off, leading to a breakthrough that revolutionized the way we interact with technology today. This entrepreneur's story embodies a powerful lesson. The path to achieving our purpose is seldom straight. It is a journey marked by highs and lows, successes and failures. The key to navigating this path lies in resilience and persistence. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to face challenges head-on, and emerge stronger. Persistence is the determination to keep moving forward, even when the end seems nowhere in sight. So, how do we cultivate these qualities? First and foremost, by embracing a mindset of growth. Understand that every challenge, every failure, is a stepping stone toward your goal. It's an opportunity to learn, to adapt, and to grow. When faced with a setback, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to move closer to my goal? Second, set your sights on the long-term vision. It's easy to get disheartened by short-term failures, but remember, achieving meaningful goals takes time, effort, and patience. Keep your ultimate purpose in mind and let it be the beacon that guides you through the storms. Third, build a support network. Surround yourself with people who believe in your vision, who offer encouragement during tough times, and celebrate your successes. This network can provide invaluable perspectives, advice, and motivation when the going gets tough. Let me tell you another story, this time of a young athlete who dreamed of competing in the Olympics. Her journey was fraught with injuries and disappointments. There were times when the physical and emotional toll made her question her dream. But her unwavering determination, coupled with the support of her coach and family, kept her going. Her resilience in the face of adversity and her persistence in pursuing her dream paid off when she finally stood on the Olympic podium, a testament to the power of overcoming obstacles. As we reflect on these stories, let us remember that overcoming obstacles is an integral part of the journey towards living a purposeful life. It is through these challenges that we discover our strength, our resilience, and our true potential. As we move forward, let us approach each obstacle not as a deterrent but as an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to move one step closer to our goals. In the next part of our exploration, we'll delve into strategies for effective time management, ensuring that we make the most of our most valuable asset, time, on our journey to achieving our purpose. In the tapestry of life, how we manage our time is akin to the strokes of a brush on a canvas, defining the clarity and beauty of the picture we wish to create. Time management, especially for those of us striving to live purposefully, becomes not just an act of organizing our days but a deliberate crafting of life itself. It's about making conscious choices that align with our deepest values and aspirations, ensuring that every hour counts toward painting the masterpiece that is our life. Prioritization stands at the core of effective time management. It's the art of discerning the truly important from the merely urgent, the lasting from the fleeting. Imagine your life as a jar filled first with rocks, then pebbles, and finally sand. 
The rocks represent your most significant goals and values, the pebbles the secondary tasks, and the sand everything else that fills your time. If you start with the sand, you'll find no room for the rocks, your most critical priorities. Begin with the rocks, and everything else will find its place. This metaphor beautifully illustrates the essence of prioritization. Focus on what truly matters, and the rest will fall into place. Saying no is another powerful strategy in the arsenal of time management. In a world brimming with demands and distractions, the ability to say no is akin to a shield guarding your time and focus against the myriad of less important or unaligned requests. Remember, every time you say yes to something that is not directly contributing to your goals, you're inadvertently saying no to something that might. Cultivate the courage to decline invitations, requests, and opportunities that do not serve your purpose. It's not about being unkind or selfish, rather, it's about being intentional with your most limited resource, time. Leveraging productivity techniques can also significantly enhance your ability to live purposefully. Techniques such as time blocking, where you allocate specific blocks of time for different tasks or activities, can transform a chaotic schedule into a structured pathway towards your goals. Similarly, the two-minute rule, if a task takes less than two minutes, do it immediately helps clear minor tasks that can otherwise clutter your mind and schedule. For daily implementation, start each day with a clear plan. Identify your top three priorities for the day, the rocks, and ensure they align with your broader goals. Tackle these early in the day when your energy and focus are at their peak. Use tools and technology to your advantage, whether it's a simple to-do list or a sophisticated time management app. Regularly review your progress, not just in terms of tasks completed, but also in how aligned your time spent is with your purpose. Let's also remember the importance of rest and rejuvenation. Just as a painter steps back to view the painting afresh, we too must give ourselves the space to relax and reflect. This not only prevents burnout, but also keeps our vision clear and our purpose front and center. As we embrace these strategies for effective time management, we pave the way for a life that's not only productive but also meaningful and fulfilling. We turn our days into a deliberate journey towards our goals, ensuring that when we look back at the canvas of our lives, it reflects a picture that we are proud to have painted. In conclusion, the journey through understanding the value of our time, defining and pursuing our purpose, setting goals, overcoming obstacles, managing our time effectively, and ultimately living each. Day to its fullest brings us to a place of deep contentment and fulfillment. It's a journey marked by growth, resilience, and a ceaseless pursuit of what truly matters. Let this be the path we choose to walk each day, with intention and joy, crafting a life that not only reaches for the stars but appreciates the beauty of the journey itself. As we draw our journey to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the ground we've covered, the insights we've shared, and the path we've charted towards living each day with purpose. We explored the profound value of our time, the irreplaceable tapestry of moments that define our existence. We delved into the heart of what it means to live with purpose, to align our daily actions with the deeper aspirations that give our lives meaning and direction. We discussed the critical importance of setting meaningful goals, not as mere tasks to be accomplished, but as beacons guiding us toward our fullest potential. We navigated the inevitable challenges and setbacks that test our resolve finding in them opportunities for growth and resilience. We examine strategies for effective time management, ensuring that each day is not just spent but invested in pursuits that enrich our lives and the lives of those around us. And finally, we embrace the philosophy of living each day to the fullest, savoring the beauty of the present moment, cultivating gratitude, and choosing actions that reflect our deepest values. Now, the canvas of your life awaits your brush. The time to act is not tomorrow, not Sunday, but today. The world is full of possibilities, and your purpose is the key that unlocks the door to a life of fulfillment and achievement. Remember, the journey to a purposeful life is not a sprint but a marathon. It requires patience, persistence, and an unwavering commitment to growth and learning. Let me leave you with a call to action, a rallying cry to propel you forward on your path to living purposefully. Embrace each day as if it were your masterpiece. Knowing that the art of living purposefully is not in reaching the destination but in cherishing the journey. Let your purpose be your compass, guiding your steps, informing your choices, and illuminating the path ahead. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can, but above all, begin.
Let these words be the wind beneath your wings as you soar toward your dreams. Remember, the only limit to what you can achieve is the extent of your determination and the strength of your purpose. So go forth with courage, with heart, and with the unwavering belief in your ability to make a difference. The time to live purposefully is now. Let this be the moment you choose to step into your greatness, to live not just by the clock, but by the compass of your deepest aspirations. Your purposeful life awaits.